Corey, we always have big old beers on the show. Gigantic. Lots of IPAs, yeah. some big, huge stouts, some really funky saisons. Right. It's so rare that we just go back to basics. Just scale just, it down. Do a little unplugged episode, if you will, and go back to just a, a nice, easy Pilsner. So you're saying you want to stop riding these Clydesdales and get back to a, a pony. But, yeah. <laughs> glub, 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 glub. Yeah, so we got Pony, which is a half acre of Pilsner uh, in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I was there visiting my sister who just had her baby, so congrats, Haley. Um, And I was at Binney's in Glen Ellen, and I ran into a fan of the show, Jeremy. So how you doing, Jeremy? Thanks for uh, stopping and saying hi. Yeah. And hopefully this is as good as some of the other Chicago rarities that I tried to find. Yeah, and half acre, obviously, probably most known for the daisy cutter, but... um, I always will give an upvote to breweries who can their beer. Big fan of the cans. Plus, their designs are always really cool. Right, right. And, you know, back to the beer, I just, I'm really into Pilsners. You, I think, I think you've done the, I've gone to the edge. mm -hmm. Now I want to try the softer, try and get those subtle flavors out of some of the beers. And Pilsner is definitely that. One of my new favorite styles. So let's, let's go ahead and take a, a whiff. And that, that smells just like what I think a Pilsner should smell like. There's a little tiny bit of like a sulfuric, mm-hmm. you know, not quite rotten eggs or anything like that, but there's just a little like sulfur kind of acidity to it. it smells really good. Yeah, I just, I, this one has just a hint of like lemon freshness yeah. and maybe spicy peppery qualities, a yeah. little of those like um, Czech spicy hops yeah, and uh, just really just... It smells like it's going to be just how it should be. And it be. definitely smells light and crackery and, like you said, a little earthy to it. Uh, but again, light is the key. So, Ron, I think it's time we dive in and see if this pony is worth riding. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's great. Oh, yeah. That's, that's... that's Pilsner. To like a, a, a nice, A nice... German style Pilsner right there. I like very, it. Very, very wheat thin Triscuit cracker bready yeah. flavors. Yeah. Love it. There's a there's a slight bitterness in the back that kind of lingers a little bit, but again, not to even like the pale ale style. Mm-hmm. Like just a slight and the aftertaste has this cool bready like bread crust flavor. That's yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, there's you know, there's there's Triscuits out there that when, when you're chewing on them, they've got just a little bit of a bite to them. Not spicy, but just like, I don't know, that that bread, or maybe it's rye, but there's just a little spicy note to it that I get with this. And, you know, I'm not sure which hops they used in Pony here, but they yeah. could be like the Saz hop or yeah. something like that. Those hops. Power Tower or something Yeah, like those, that. those always impart just a little bit of, of kick. So, boy, as far as Pilsners go, this is right, it's it's right in there. You know, and it's, it's one of those things that, yeah, if you had this, just a glass of this, you're not going to be like, oh my God, best beer I've ever had. But for the style and for what they're going for, this is done really, really well. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's, it's again, going right into what you want with a nice, light, laid-back pills. Oh, man. That lingering aftertaste is just the bomb.com. I yeah. mean, it's just really, really <laughs> smooth. There's no harsh bitterness. No. It's just really clear, crisp, well-defined flavors. Well, Corey, I mean, I, I really enjoy this beer, and I think you do too, yeah. but uh, where are you putting it on your on your rating scale? I'm going to go uh, 95. Okay. I think it's a very, very good beer. I don't see any off flavors. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see any uh, need to improve a lot. I mean, some of these here and there, but overall, really delicious, easy drinking beer. Compared to the other things we've given hundreds to, they're so extreme, it's hard to land on something that's not like blowing your face off on a, on a 100, I but I I'm going to probably go 97. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else they could do to it. It's, it's as good as a Pilsner can be in my, in my estimation. And you know what, Ron, if you think it's as good, give it your hundred. <laughs> I, I, should <laughs> I? <laughs> hey, stylistically, what's wrong with it? I can't find anything. You're right. For as far as pilsners go, this pilsner is going to get a 100 from me. There I, you go. I Talk would, him into it. I would go. I would go to this pilsner seven days a week. All right, so Ron, I know this is one that you would not come home without. But what do you guys think? What mm-hmm. beers would you not come home without in the pilsner style category? Yeah, that's a. I, I'm really now. I'm all on a pilsner kick, <laughs> and I need some new pilsner ideas. So, what are your favorite pilsners? 
Let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, always remember. We're the Brew Review Crew. We'll review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to stick to a schedule here, all right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah. So, Mondays and Wednesdays, we are going to do our videos, and Fridays, our podcast. Ron, what was that? Mondays and Wednesdays for video, Friday for our brand new podcast. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to brewreviewcrew.com backslash iTunes and subscribe, and leave a five-star review if you like it. It really helps out the show on the charts and rankings, and we definitely appreciate it. So, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, see you there. Same time, same place. Cheers.